morning, good morning, guys. We are here in the Prairie Sound, Ontario. We are just doing a little bit of a pre-trip inspection. Yeah, lights are working. Yeah. So we got to do a pre-trip every morning. My tags are still on there for my dangerous kids. Check the tires a little bit, you know. Look underneath to see everything is okay. Yeah. The brakes look good. I always like to go ahead and check all my lights. Yeah. The seal is still intact as well. All my lights are working. That's good. Anyways, just gonna finish off our pre trip inspection here and then. Uh, we're gonna go and uh, actually I forgot to check to see if my uh, bike card is on here. Yeah, she's still intact. It's good. You want to make sure all your plaque cards are always uh, intact. You know, this one is too. Single light is working because uh, if that's not on there and you get stopped by a DOT, you're gonna be in trouble. One of my friends had that happen one time, and uh, that DOT wasn't very impressed. He uh, he ended up opening the trailer and inspecting the whole load, and the load had shifted a little bit. And oh yeah, he was real mad. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get out of here. Well, guys, here we go. We are back on the road here for a little bit, and. Uh, just goes to show you that we got construction up here in Canada too. Oh yeah. They actually been working on this highway quite a bit uh, over the last couple of years. They uh, made this highway from uh, Toronto up to uh, Sudbury, Ontario. Almost all the way, I think it's uh, four lanes now. Two lanes each way. And it never used to be like that. It used to be a one-way lane only, you know. But now it's been like this for a long time. Good. That's good. At least we know they're working on it. Oh, it looks like we even got an escort up here. Oh, okay. In front of that uh, Silicon truck there, there's a construction escort vehicle there. I guess he's escorting everybody. Well, I guess that's good too, you know, like they're pouring new uh, new uh, asphalt up here and, you know, if he wasn't uh, escorting everybody, you know, how it goes, these four-wheelers, they would just be speeding through here at 100 clicks an hour if they could, you know. Maybe not every single one of them, but a lot of them, you know. That's how you create accidents, you know. It's good that they put some asphalt down here, you know. Be a nice smooth road. Oh, somebody is running. <laughs> he's throwing some cones aside. Well, he's working hard today, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that guy is really working hard. Yeah, that guy was throwing a couple of cones aside there so that way the machine could get on the asphalt there and uh, go over it and roll it hard, you know. Anyways, we'll continue on with our journey over to Toronto. Hey guys, here we are coming into Toronto. Look at the traffic there on the other side. That's pretty heavy traffic there on the other side uh, going, uh, I guess, eastbound, you can call it. We're uh, on 401 now on the collector. We'll be going on to express lane here pretty soon. The express lane looks pretty uh, pretty good moving there, so we should be in good shape. We got uh, another 22 kilometers to go, and then we'll be at our delivery. 
and then we'll see what we'll do from there but before we do anything else I think we're gonna go to master steak I think we're gonna have a good steak I think so we'll go have a shower and fuel up the truck that way we're all good to go if we all of a sudden get a reload now we'll go over to master steak and have ourselves an awesome steak oh yeah here we go guys we have just gotten unloaded now we're making our way over to the terminal we'll drop this trailer then we'll go to uh, the flying jet fuel up take a shower and we will go to our lovely master steak we'll have ourselves an awesome steak oh yeah i'm looking forward to that that's for sure gorgeous day out here today that is for sure so let's get down over there and uh, see if we'll have a good master steak Alrighty, guys i've been sitting here at the husky for uh couple of hours now already I had me a little bit of a, a, a nap here earlier but uh, when I got here I went and washed the truck have a look at that it's looking pretty nice and uh, shiny now again you know remember last week when I come back from Alberta oh that was like even when I showed you guys when I put the decals on here and stuff you saw my whole truck was really dirty and stuff you know but uh, look at all these uh, uh, these stripes and that how they are starting to fade away and stuff like this is a little damage right here from all the name and stuff like that well I think next week when I go to Seattle I will uh, I will get the truck into the shop and they'll put new decals on because it's for free you know and it will look really nice and uh, so I figured well since I um, uh, got the truck washed and all that I figured well, I had my uh, beauty sleep now, so I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean the inside truck too. I mean, look at the driver's side, it's even worse, you know. Have a look at that. And it's starting to peel off, you know. So we'll get new decals put on next week. And then uh, well, they will do that throughout the week when I'm uh, in Seattle. But uh, oh, look at the inside of my truck. The other day, I dropped the shoe in here. I accidentally and I got that all dirty so I'm gonna get uh, working away at uh, cleaning my truck here my dashboard is starting to get really dirty too I don't know if you'll be able to see it right now but it actually is so we'll get to uh, cleaning and then uh, I don't know I might go over to master steak there a little bit later and have me a good steak I was over there earlier already had me a good steak but uh, that was a few hours ago already so yeah so let's get to it and then uh, we'll see what else we will be up to well guys we are done cleaning the inside and I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a tour I put my uh, spill kit right there now but I uh, usually sleep up here I got the microwave down here got lots of cabinet space up here where I keep some uh, you know some hardware for eating and what what not you know I got some more room up here where I keep my broom I keep my vacuum cleaner up there you know I know the other day somebody asked me to do a little bit of a tour of my truck you know it's got lots of space over here and same thing on this side it's where I keep some of my cleaning materials for cleaning my uh, my house basically got some more uh, cabinet space up here and uh, if you guys remember this door didn't uh, used to be here for a long time but i finally got it put back on there and i actually got a mirror in there see yeah we got a nice mirror in there got a nice table set up over here on my laptop there actually i can fold this table down and i can make that into a second bed got some drawers up here keep some movies and stuff keep some paperwork in the other one got a nice fridge in here yeah, I had some orange juice and stuff like that in there. Actually, I do have a freezer up here. Yeah. So, here is the uh, end result of my cleaning. Look at that. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think so. I even did the uh, dashboard and all that. I don't know how good you guys are going to actually be able to see it right now. But uh, 
I think she looks pretty good. So I even uh, cleaned the inside of the windshields, like the side and the front, you know, everything. I did the whole spiel today, you know. Looking as good as Jupak said when he first met me. Oh yeah. Really nice and clean today, so. Anyways, I think I'm gonna cut the show for today. Uh, so you guys saw what I did today. And that's about it. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Hope you guys will stay tuned for that. And be sure to hit that uh, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And we will be sure to see you again tomorrow. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind.